Welcome to Blender video tutorial number two and we'll be discussing Blender user interface and navigation. Alright, we'll start off with navigation. To navigate like this, to zoom around, zoom in and out and circle around this cube, all you need to do is use your middle mouse button to scroll inward and to scroll outward for zoom in and out. So middle mouse button in scroll inward away from you and outward to you to zoom in and out to scroll around like this and maneuver around this all you have to do is push down on the middle mouse button and hold it down and drag it around on your pad okay so you can zoom in and out just pan around alright to move it like this away from the object to where you can start scrolling around a new area see if we zoom in this is our focus point zoom out and we're gonna, okay we would hit shift middle mouse button and hold it down and then drag the mouse and that's how you would move about in this 3d area and it's very easy to get lost when you're first using say you zoom out too far and you look the wrong way by holding shift okay so now all we have is gray space we don't know where we're at on your keyboard all you have to do is hit the home key the home key is located above the arrows and all you need to do is hit that and it'll bring you back to a location I don't know how it works but it just brings you back to where you can see this grid section uh, you don't have to work inside of this grid um, it just helps you focus in on one area okay <clears throat> now to line up pretty much all perfectly uh, all you have to do is hit on your numerical keypad where there's a 7 button all you have to do is hit 7 and it will bring you to top view you can also do this by going to view and then top and you know it tells you that it tells you the other ones the side is 3 front 1 7 we just did which was top and camera for 0 okay and for the camera which is this this is where it takes a picture of our objects we've created and turns it into a 2d image and I'll do an animation and it'll take a sequence of pictures and combine them together to make AVI's GIFs stuff like that alright so hit 0 on your numerical keypad to go into camera view okay so we're, now we're in camera view and um this is our cube that we did before, or we were navigating around before. Uh, we're not going to talk about editing in this video, but I will tell you how to move an object around in object mode. There is a difference from edit mode and object mode. Um, I'll discuss that later. And to move this around, all you have to do is hit the G key, and this will move it, the object around in your view. That's not very accurate if we're trying to put it somewhere. Uh, like, you know, we don't want to do this for precision. Because it's just putting it off into a random location. Okay, so, so G key. And then that'll move it around. G for grab. Um, uh, now what we need to do is talk about how to constraint your movement. Okay, so up on this we'll move it so right here we have the blue which is the Z axis this this um, symbol right here with these three X Y and Z when we move around it tells us where we're lo where our location is for our view kinda confusing but you'll understand as you begin to use it more alright so hit this blue arrow this will constrain it against the Z axis and then the green for Y and red for X alright so that's moving our objects around now this is just moving up down and left to right what if we want to rotate it well all we have to do is hit the R key the R key will rotate it we're noticing how it rotates in a very awkward position so what we need to do is hit 3 or um, yeah 3 for side view shift over to where you can see and R this will rotate it along a more ac more accurate position. See, this this rotates it 
the direction that we're looking at it. But if we're looking at it directly from side view, it'll rotate it around around more accurate. <coughs> um, you can use this right here, these three buttons, the triangle, circle, and square, to uh, change this. This is all, this is what I mean. See, if we hit the R key, it rotates it this direction, and that's not very accurate along the X, Y, and Z axis. Constraint, we can do this, this one, and this. That, that will help you make your um, positions more accurate. This key is more for um, editing the way it looks, like scaling it, uh, stuff like that. You don't really have to use this right now, just learning the interface, because... Um, that doesn't you don't really need to learn it until you're doing editing and we'll do that in the next tutorial all right so zero for camera and now all we have to do to make this a picture as we talked before camera and cube okay oh and how to select an object is to right click on the object itself and you can select the this camera by hitting on this okay so this is and this is the uh, the out the outer line that's dotted is the actual size of the picture and the rounded one just kind of helps you uh, see your image. So F12 is a render picture, okay. And this is our picture. Remember our light is up here somewhere. So if we go back into here, when you scroll out, we can see that our light is there, and that's where the light was reflecting on this object. If you want to move this around, you can use the G key move that around and we'll discuss how to make this we'll discuss more advanced options with this in the later tutorial so that pretty much concludes navigation and a couple a, couple, a few options you can do in blender alright stay tuned